Australia hasn't produced too many good movies about its major football codes, in my view. Uh, Australian rules, certainly, they've tried a few times. Uh, Rugby League, there was a film about 12 months, two years ago, that wasn't too bad. But there's a mo- movie that's been made called Broke. Uh, in fact, stars Steve Bisley, who's one of our great actors. I actually met Steve Bisley one time when I was driving in the Celebrity Grand Prix. He was one of the other drivers in the same race as me. He's a fantastic actor and a great character. Uh, it also involves two other actors from a uh, well-known background, Steve Lemaquand and Claire Vanderboom. Broke is the story uh, of a former rugby league star uh, who falls on hard times. But I'll let the writer-director Heath Davis tell you because Broke also uh, needs some help to, to fund its launch. And that's why we're going to talk to Heath. How are you, buddy? I'm good, thanks, mate. Thanks for having me on the show. Do you agree that not many great films have been made about Australia's great sporting passions, which are cricket and the football codes, whereas in the United States they've made a stack of great movies about American football and baseball? I agree 100%. Uh, It's one of the motivations behind making the film. Uh, The reason being, I don't know, I guess some of the people behind uh, those films I guess uh, didn't really live and breathe those sports as much as I do rugby league. I grew up uh, playing the game and been in and around the world in uh, different capacities and with friends and as a reporter or as a player. So, you know, what I really want to do with this film is make it authentic um, and, you know, no no holds barred, warts and all tale and not uh, sanitise it and make it too sentimental. And I think sometimes uh, maybe the filmmakers have these great ambitions, but at the end of the day, uh, do the compromise and, and whatnot, they often end up falling short of the mark. But because we're controlling it ourselves, uh, that gives us the, you know, the free reign to try and make it uh, you know, as good as we think we can make it. And this is not uh, the typical sport movie of washed-up hero, comes back, leads the team to a miraculous victory in the last frame of the film, and everyone goes home feeling happy. There's a lot of messages in this film, including what I think is a very contemporary argument to have, and that argument is how much how do we handle young men who've got extraordinary talent uh, who get paid a lot of money but go off the rails because they don't know how to handle that fame and money yeah I agree uh, and I was just compelled to tell the story because I'd grown up and around and seeing these guys uh, with some of my friends um, some just an arm length away from me and all these uh, problems happening and no one seemed to really uh, caring or doing anything about it Um so, yeah, apart from trying to make the film, there's a message behind it, too. So, and I think a lot of people have really responded to that, and that's why we've got as far as we have so far. Gambling is uh, the central theme of this. Explain that for me. Well, it is. Um, I mean, and anybody who watches the game now, you're inundated with uh, the opportunities to gamble on it. Um, and that, to me, really is a problem. Uh, I also teach... Uh, at, at high schools and primary schools, as a sub teacher, when I'm not filming, that's the work of a you know independent filmmaker. And I hear young kids asking, "Sir, who's going to win this weekend?" And my team's the Panthers, and I'm always saying, "Oh, the Panthers." You know, most of the time they're not going to win, but they'd be like, "Oh no, that's they're not going to win." Cenobet or somebody has them at these odds. You know, they're no chance of winning. Seeing young kids, you talk about odds and who's going to win and margins. Really, really, it's, yeah frustrated me to the point that I just felt compelled to, to, to make a film and, and tell this message. So where are you at with uh, production? Well, right now we uh, we've cast the film. You mentioned all those leads earlier. Uh, we're looking to shoot it in central Queensland in Gladstone, which is a rugby league heartland. And there's a lot of uh, ex-players that are working up there in one in some capacity, mostly in the mines or on the ports. Yep. Um, and a lot of young footballers uh, come from there too. It's a, it's a big rugby league nursery. So we are uh, ha- financing half of the film ourselves. Uh, and to get over the line, we are inviting the general public to help us, um, I guess, get this message out there. And they can do so by uh, hitting our crowdfunding uh, campaign online. Uh, the best place to go to for that is our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash broke movie. And that'll get you to the link of our host, Indiegogo. And, yeah, we've had just people could pledge a dollar all the way up to co-produce the movie with us for 10 grand. We've had one person do that. We've had ex-players pledge and some ex-players even buy a role for a featured extra. So <laughs> beauty, yeah, Adrian Bowles, former Origin player, he's into it. What um, a good idea. 
Yeah, and you know they're not feeling the scenes, but all the actors are behind it. It's just what I, again it comes back to making the film authentic, and I really wanted those uh, you know players, fans, the people that live and breathe the sport, which is the majority of Aussies, um, to get behind it, and we want to take the film to them as well. So we've got some plans for distribution. Um, but, yeah, it's a good cause, and the money goes to charity. So it's the first film that I know of or anybody that I know of knows of where the money goes to the Mental League Foundation, which is a charity, and it helps players, current and past players that have fallen on hard times, whether it's through gambling, whether it's through health. So explain to me how difficult you think it will be shooting match scenes. Well, the beauty of this is we're not... I think where you mentioned earlier where some of the films fall down uh, in terms of, uh, you know, recreating these sporting scenes and Australian budgets aren't high. So when you compare a massive $100 million American film, they have all the tools and CGI and all the tricks to, to, to make these groundbreaking visuals. We don't really have that. Uh, and I was more interested in the behind the scenes and what the fans or the general public don't see uh, the players when they're not on the field. So, a lot of this film takes place post-career and off the field, but we do see flashbacks on TV, some old archival footage. So uh, as we don't have the budget to recreate those and do justice to them, uh, we decided to avoid that. But there's still a lot of action there, and there's still humour, and, yeah, uh, people will still be able to enjoy it and maybe walk away, you know, thinking about it, and there'll be some tears shed too, I'd imagine. How rapt are Gladstone to be part of this? They are so supportive. Uh, at the beginning, they thought, what, you're making a film here? That's never really happened before. Um, but it's great. I mean, the local council, the local mayor, and the local tourism division are all behind it. Um, but, yeah, it's just a community film, and lots of players come from these areas. And we want to release it too on some uh, friends of mine that run the outdoor flicks and the sticks uh, uh, cinema concert with the outdoor screens. They uh, we were talking to them about taking the film, hopefully to all the football fields and small towns, and and getting them to, you know, be invited and see the film and taking it to them where often Australian films won't reach that that audience. How'd you convince Bisley to get involved? Uh, to be honest, it was the script. Uh, yeah, it really was. It was uh, he just really responded to the material like the other actors. There was no tricks or you know, there's no tying up or begging or stealing or offering whatever it was really uh yeah it was really the role uh, i think he really responded to the way we're making the film and and the, the concept of money going to charity and he is a rugby league guy he does love the tie yeah and he's uh he is a, such a well-known australian face he's also got a a good head for a rex rugby league player yeah he does and uh but i think what you're going to see is you're going to see a different side to see that uh we don't often see he's always this burly tough guy um, there's a real tender side to him here, and I and I think that's probably what uh, he responded to. It's against time. It wasn't too tender when I was racing cars against him. I've got to tell you. No, that's he's trying to drive motorbike. you off the track. Yeah, have you ever seen him on a motorbike? I hear he's, uh, he's crazy about that. So, what's that Facebook address again, Heath? Mate, the Facebook page is facebook.com slash uh, Broke Film. And yep. You can also go to Indiegogo.com and just search in Broke. It's quite simple, but the Facebook page is the best one to, to use, and it's just a few clicks away if you go to And you can Broke. feel like you're part of a production team of an Australian movie. Well, yeah, $10, you get your names in the credits. You'll see yourself on the big screen, but also any profits go to charity. So you're actually not only feeling a part of the process, you're actually doing something decent uh, and helping someone who's, who needs a hand. It's a win-win for everyone. When do you hope, if you can, get the funding sorted to shoot, finish and screen? Uh, good question. We want to shoot in August uh, in central Queensland. It's quite hot up there. Uh, we are going to make it. It's a hell of high water and it'll obviously with more support from pledging, it'll make the process somewhat a little easier. Uh, but yeah, August and then hopefully you screen it, uh, I guess about this time next year, just in conjunction with the kickoff. Um, really want to get the NRL on board. We're speaking to them tomorrow and hopefully they'll you know, get behind it. Good stuff, Heath. Nice to catch up with you, mate. Good luck with your project. It sounds wonderful. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, buddy.